Hey guys, Tucker here, I want to talk about the new skill gems above me. Now, these have been data mined previously, but I haven't given my feedback on them because the original data mined value seemed incredibly overpowered to me. So I want to see until we got the official announcement and they're officially being added into the beta in the next few days. And when they are added, they'll be added without a wipe, so I'll have fresh characters ready to go straight into them. So without further ado, let's just get into it, starting left to right. So off the bat, we have Vile Toxins. Now, again, look at the level of these support gems. These aren't maxed out at level 20, but they have got the 20% quality there. So supported skills deal 20% increased damage with poison. That will be from the quality. Um, supported skills deal 5% more damage with hits for each poison on the enemy, up to 6. Supported skills deal 30% more poison damage. So the way that I read that, that is a 30% more poison damage with then a stacking 30% um, at max stacks on top of that. Um, and that is at level 1. So that is a potentially on single target 60% more poison damage, assuming I'm reading that correctly, which is pretty absurd for a level 1 support gem. And this is just a lot of damage. Now this will obviously be very powerful for stuff like um, barrage, tornado shot. You'll be, this is kind of going to be like one of those go-to things for poison-based bow shenanigans. Um, otherwise, for spells, anything which hits rapidly will be great for. But for, you know, blade vortex springs to mind. Big single poison-based stuff, not so much. So, yeah, very good for stuff like blade vortex, maybe poison firestorm. And then, obviously, bow-based stuff. Really powerful, and this is a dex-based one. Okay, next off we have the Decay. Now this is one of the ones which seems really peculiar to me since we'll have Decay and then Decay weapons. It seems odd that you would make something which has the exact same effect as a Essence Craft and keep the same name with it. This is where some of these I don't really understand the thought process behind it, but sure, whatever. So this will give you 10% increased Chaos Damage with the quality and the base um, gives you the decay effect. It's dealing 234 chaos damage per second for 10 seconds. This will ramp up. Um, from what I've seen on Reddit, this should be significantly stronger than the Essence of Decay um, enchant once this gets up to a decent level. So yeah, this will be really powerful. You have this in combination with a Delirium crafted weapon and it seems completely and utterly absurd. And yeah, very shocked about this one. It seems ridiculously powerful. Not really sure why we'll have two of these stacking together, but interesting. Deadly Ailment Support. Supported skills deal 50% more damage with ailments. Supported skills deal 30% less damage with hits. And then you get 10% increased damage over time from the quality. Now, because this is ailments, I'm curious to see if this will work with burns. I don't think it will. Um, so, for example, there's a difference between an Ignite and a Burn. So, Scorching Ray or Righteous Fire deal Burn damage, but they're not Ignites. Which makes me think this will not work with, you know, Righteous Fire and Scorching Ray. This is a very, very significant multiplier. And if, for whatever reason, it did work with that, although I'm pretty sure it doesn't, that is insane for those two builds. But I'm fairly sure this will not work on those, anyone freaking out too much. Again, just massive multipliers. It does come with the less damage on the initial hit, so you do need to scale that into some things. Um, this for like the poison based shenanigans, this will be much better for poison based than for ignite based. Um, I think if you're going along the lines of like stacking all these like decay style effects and then having the poison and then having no real base initial, then nerf your initial doesn't matter that much. Whereas for the brief experimentation I've done with explosive arrow, um, on the beta, you know, all of your um, initial fire scaling is still scaling your ignite, whereas in the case of, for example, poison based barrage, you're really only scaling the back end and very little of the initial because most of your damage is coming through stuff like added chaos gem. So, yes, very powerful, seems great. Don't think it will work with burn based damage, just ignite based. There is a distinction there. A lesser poison support. Supporter skills deal 10% increased damage with poisons. This again is coming from the quality. It gives you some chance of poison on hit and it comes with flat chaos damage. Now 1 to 2 seems very minor because it's just a level 1. 
getting any um, level of just flat added damage is very powerful. You use this in combination with an Eye of Chaos gem. You get all these little effects on there. Really powerful. Um, kind of weird just wording wise and like sort of lore wise. Yes, we did previously have LMP and GMP. But off the top of my head, those are the only examples of like a weaker support gem I can think of. And that always felt kind of weird to me. Um, having these lesser supports, which is like you would never use the poison support gem, right? You only use the poison support gem when you're there. There's no other way possible. So having this lesser support, which is better than the actual support, wording wise seems weird to me, a bit misleading for someone who's maybe inexperienced. But yeah, anything which gives more additional flat chaos damage is huge. Really, really powerful. And the fact that it does have some chance to poison on hit is very nice for stuff like Assassin. Anything which already has some chance to poison on hit already. Remember, you can get this rolled onto weapons now. You slap this in. A lot of the new um, poison nodes on the tree, which have been buffed up, they have some chance to poison in there. It means you'll be able to get your 100% or close to 100% chance to poison very easily. Uh, without having to use stuff like snake bites, which a lot of attack based builds have been forced into previously. Really solid. Chance to bleed support. So, um, this will give you some flat physical um, to weapons. Again, having any flat uh, base on that, very, very powerful. Um, supported attacks deal 10% increased damage with bleeding. Supported attacks have a 25% chance to cause bleeding. Basically, the same thing as the added chaos thing. Depending on how high this goes at level 20, this might actually also be a decent support um, for stuff like Facebreaker builds, Doom Fletch builds, even if you have no like real plans of uh, scaling the bleed, just having just any more raw flat fizz is just very powerful for those particular builds. So I prefer this support much more to the mini added chaos one because this has like good application of bleed builds and then some niche application and some unique centric builds. So I like the support gem. Ignite proliferation support. This is my least favorite of all of them, and I'm not really sure why this needs to exist in the game. So you're getting some increased fire damage from the quality on there, and it gives ignites caused by supported uh, skills spread to other enemies in a radius of 14. I'm assuming as this levels, it will gain more radius. Um, otherwise, what else is it going to gain with levels? It seems weird to me to have like an any prolif gem and then have one which is just based for ignite. Most builds which care about prolif only care about ignite prolif. Yes, if you are a elementalist, you have conflux, so you get that prolif spreading everything, but then you already have that prolif spreading everything. Now, they changed the Ellie Prolif gem on the beta to also give increased ailment duration and increased chance to free shock and ignite, which is something I really liked, but the radius slant was only 10. So, like, they made it really cool. They gave it all this chance to ignite, which is really impactful, really, really nice. But then they come out with this, which is just, like, just better because AoE clear. Um, do we really need to proliferation based things one for everything one just for ignite depending on how crazy this radius gets this is just like a complete no-brainer option yeah kind of wonky don't know efficiency support supported skills deal 10 percent more spell damage supported skills deal 15 percent more damage over time Supported skills deal 10 percent increased that'll be from the quality supported skills have 10 percent increased skill effect duration this is amazing for Scorching Ray. Scorching Ray is like our new Lord and Savior on the beta. You would use this over Rapid Decay every single time. This is just amazing, um, particularly powerful. You'll even see uh, this being used in non-spell damaged base stuff. You'll see this in some poison builds because you're getting the increased skill effect duration for some things. Although skill effect duration doesn't apply to all poisons now, it only applies to Viper Strike. For the niche like skills which have that, like Viper Strike for example, having the more damage on there, having the skill effect duration thing on there, great. And then obviously this Scorching Ray because it just scales with everything. Amazing. Like this is just like Scorching Ray, the support gem. And this is something which would apply to Righteous Fire. So Righteous Fire previously has only ever had like four supports. You're going to start seeing like six link um, Righteous Fire action happening with all of these new things that they're adding. So, interesting.
Also worth noting, those right to fire builds were previously using like 30% more damage helm or gloves. So it's not like a sudden massive power creep. It's not like you're suddenly getting all these extra multipliers on top of that because you will be losing the 30% more from it being in a essence crafted four socket. Unbound ailments support. Supported skills have 40% increased duration of ailments on enemies. Supported skills have 20% increased effect of ailments on enemies. Curious to see how this will work with freeze. I'm assuming this with shock will increase the multiplier of the shock. So like the shock will make it an even bigger DPS increase. With freeze, what? Does it just make it like a more effective freeze? But doesn't the duration really do that? Interesting. This is something which you really need to like play around with in a calculator to see just how good this is. But potentially very, very powerful. There are also a few unique items uh, with Ignite in particular, which mess with your Ignite duration, like they half the duration of your Ignite, they mean you can have an extra Ignite. With the new Ember Wake, there is the Diaden Dawn, which makes Ignites burn faster. So it's like stacking increased duration on like particularly uniques becomes particularly powerful. Curious to see how much use this will see for general map clear. This might be something that you just use for like big bossy stuff, but yeah, it's an odd one, right? So it's one of those things where it doesn't, like, it doesn't increase your DPS, but it increases your DPS, if that makes sense. It's kind of an odd one. Probably won't see that much map clear usage, but potentially very good for certain encounters. It's an interesting one. You need to play around with it in calculators. Might be amazing for certain shock things. Might be something you see on, um, like, side things. So maybe, like, you link this with your Vile Lightning Trap, for example. It may not be something you put into your main skill. It might be something you put into your side support. So if you have a way to reliably freeze, you link it into that. If you have a way to reliably shock, you link it into that. It's an interesting one. This is something that I like seeing. It's not as boring as the others, which is just like crazy more multipliers. Immolate support. Again, it has some increased fire damage coming from the quality. And then it gives supported skills deal a bunch of flat fire damage against burning enemies. This gives a crazy amount of flat damage. This gives way more flat damage than like added lightning, added cold. This is crazy for like any Oro based builds. This is like really, really huge for anything which attacks very quickly. Um, it would be nice to go back to like any attack based builds being about using all the gems and the auras. These days it's most around like, oh, just get this crazy fizz weapon, convert everything. I always like the old school approach of having like just a really fast weapon and then like using loads of like flat added gems. So yeah, really powerful for anything which has fast attacks and can re reliably um, cause ignites. This will also work with spells. This is also particularly powerful for any like just spells which hit in rapid succession or have like crazy more multis. So for example, Fire Nova Mind springs to mind. Fire Nova Mind will be particularly powerful with this because it's like the has the crazy inbuilt multipliers into it and it hits in rapid succession this will just like melt bosses really really powerful brutality support supported skills deal 35 percent more fizz this ramps up to something like 60 percent supported skills deal no elemental damage so you stack this into the average fizz base build and now you're no longer running stuff like uh, hatred or herald of ash this opens up more aura options. This opens up possibilities to more mind over matter builds. Blood magic builds? Question mark. Probably not. Blood magic is a bit of a weird one these days. But yeah, really, really powerful. And again, it supported skills. So this could be used for both um, spell and fizz based. This is particularly powerful for any like physical poison based or physical, sorry, physical chaos based or physical bleed based stuff because this will scale um your like poisons and your bleeds without nerfing it because of the ellie damage thing really really powerful insane for phase breaker builds just like a really big support which opens you up to more interesting aura options this is something that, like i can actually get behind this gem because it has that no ellie damage tag so you actually need to think around it this is interesting a lot of these gems are main complaints all of them are just kind of like boring you just slap them into pre-existing builds at least with this, you're mixing things up a little bit. Seems cool. Maim support. Again, another very powerful, slightly more interesting one. So supported skills deal 10% more fizz. Supported attacks have a chance to maim on hit. Supported skills deal increased fizz damage from the quality. And then enemies maimed by supported skills take increased physical damage. Now, 
take increased physical damage works the same way as shock so this has like two multipliers in there it has the take multiplier and then it has the just deal uh more multiplier so really really powerful you can use this for spells however they won't um get the main benefit um well they will get the main benefit if for example you know you're getting main from additional source but you won't be able to apply the main because that is limited to attacks but yeah this is pretty nuts um could maybe see some usage in doom fletch based stuff just because it is a way to scale the fizz and it gives you the maim. Maim is like a hinder based effect. It slows the enemies down, moves speed, cast with attack speed. So it's like a mini temp chains. Very, very powerful. So as we've established, none of these are really bad. There are a few confusing things in there. I will admit I am a little bit disappointed by just like path of more multipliers. I was kind of hoping that we'd be stepping away from this sort of stuff. There are some interesting ones like uh, mixed in their bile toxins. The way that it ramps up is quite interesting. Decay, weird that they picked it, but it opens up some interesting build options, the way that you like to build or plan out a character. Deadly ailments, just boring. Uh, lesser poison, it's boring. Chance to bleed, boring. Um, ignite proliferation, confusing, but also pretty boring. Um, boring interesting boring interesting interesting so you've got like four maybe five interesting ones in there and then just a lot of just like crazy multipliers so yeah i don't know what do you guys think about it are there any supports that you wish they would add do you think we'll see any more utility based supports that was kind of what i was hoping for seeing some like reworks to old utilities and if we don't see reworks to old support gems then we're going to end up in an even bigger case of like you just look at this skill then you look at that skill you look at like fork and then you look at efficiency and you go what the fuck so yeah hopefully we see some balance tweaks to old supports but for now at least we're getting new options i'm taki have a good day bye bye peace